Actor George Clooney has launched an attack on the crew member who handed Alec Baldwin the gun loaded with a live bullet which tragically killed Helena Hutchins. The tragedy, which resulted in the 42-year-old's death, happened on the set of the Western Rust in New Mexico last month. After being handed the loaded gun, Baldwin, 63, unknowingly pulled the trigger. Director Joel Souza, 48, was also wounded in the shoulder by the bullet. Clooney said he thought the assistant director could be at fault and said it was insane that live bullets were loaded into the gun. He added, I've been on sets for 40 years and the person responsible for the gun is either the prop person or armorer. Every single time I am handed a gun, I look at it, I open it, I show it to the person I am pointing it to, we show it to the crew. Clooney said, every single take you hand it back to the armorer when you're done. Everyone does it. Maybe Alec did that, I hope he did, but dummies are tricky because they look like real bullets. Maybe they weren't even using that gun to do target practice, but they had live ammo with dummies, that is insane. Every time I get handed a six gun, you point it at the ground and you fire. You squeeze it six times. Always. David Halls, the assistant director, was given the weapon by armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, 24, and then announced cold gun on the set. Clooney. Speaking on the Mark Marin podcast, said, I've never heard of the term cold gun. It's infuriating. He also told how he had never thought he would have children before meeting lawyer wife Amal in 2013 and how it is tiring being a dad at 60 to his four-year-old twins. Alexander and Ella, he said, the first moment I met Amal I thought, this is the most extraordinarily smart, beautiful woman I've ever met. Reflecting on welcoming his twins into the world, he said, I was convinced that wasn't my lot in life. I was comfortable with that. The hard part is being 60 and the sheer running around. 